the fifth weather, it's nice and dry. I have to say, overall, the police have been okay. Uh, they have arrested a few people, mostly for fireworks, which seems a bit silly on November the 5th. Um, but I've met a lot of wonderful people, and that's why I came here. I came here to meet people, uh, not because I think it's going to make much difference. Sometimes it's important to know that you're not alone in this world. Most of us live in areas where our neighbours are very complacent, very conformist. They believe that the government are looking out for us. Unfortunately, that isn't the truth. And I wish it was the truth. I wish I was wrong. But, you know, two, a year and a half ago, when they said three weeks, I knew it wouldn't be three weeks. And it hasn't been. And they started off with 80-year-olds. Then they made to 60-year-olds with Then it was 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds. And now they're coming for the five-year-olds. And why would a five-year-old need a and they get something they've got no risk of dying from at all? So it's only about common sense. So an immune system isn't a conspiracy theory. And I'm not an expert. I never claim to be an expert. But I have got some common sense. And I don't want to live in a police state because we've got We've always the people have always died. Every year in the UK, people die. In fact, do you know how many people die in the UK every year? Would you guess? Uh, two, not two million. Two million is a massive exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> about less than one percent of the population die every year. So we have about six hundred thousand people in the UK die every year, and in a country with uh, 100 million, there'd be about 1 million people die every year. These are natural figures. Now, in 2020, the average number of people who died in Britain was at a 30-year average. That means that overall, you can say people died of this, or you can say people died of that. 28 days after testing positive, it's actually quite meaningless, really. It's lying with statistics. Bill Gates has that book on his desk. Lying with statistics. So, if you think about it, uh, using mathematical formulas and confusing people with graphs and pie charts and things like that, you can get people to believe pretty much anything you want. But the average overall death rate in 2020 had not increased over previous years. Now, if there was a genuine pandemic, right, which meant the end of civil liberties, terrorist act, police everywhere, sirens everywhere, lots and lots of arrests, people being bullied uh, uh, sitting on the park bench in the park because they were sitting there for too long, things like that. You'd expect there to be a really massive increase in deaths, especially of young people. But the average age of people who died of in, in, uh, was over the, actually above or at the average age of death. So the people who would have died anyway are dying. Can I ask uh, which media you're from? Um, I'm independent for myself. I do on YouTube, Odyssey, things like that. Okay, I, I've been on YouTube many times in the past under the name Hoaxashian. I had about 5,000 videos taken down on YouTube. I was heavily censored. I was also impersonated on YouTube by Israelis, unfortunately. Uh, the 77th Brigade and Cambridge Analytica. Are you familiar with Cambridge Analytica? Uh, no, but I am with 77th. The 77th Brigade are very active online, yeah. uh, Twitter and so on, and they smear people. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, anyone like you who has a Twitter, ch uh, a YouTube channel, interested in the truth, is going to come to their attention. So perhaps if this video does go on YouTube, the trolls will find it, and they may try and get this video removed, or maybe even your own channel removed. Yeah, with our live streams and everything. Uh, is this a live stream now? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, Hi. I also have my GoPro here, because I have to Thank delete you. the live stream. Thank you. Um, yes. Censor my GoPro. Um, I have to censor my GoPro quickly and then upload that after the live stream. Okay, well, thanks um, a lot. I, I like yeah, what you're no doing, and it's nice. It's always nice. Actually, somebody interviewed me uh, last week. This gentleman here, yeah. Nick, who's speaking yeah. to this guy, is he with you? Uh, no, or you but know, I know him? Yeah, I know. Yeah, him. Nick, Nick, Nick videoed me last week, Scum Media. Yeah. He videoed me last week, and, he, um, and my video went partially viral. I mean, by Milo standards. Yeah. It went viral and. Actually, as a joke, I, uh, I put on my channel, does anybody know who this man is? If you do, tell me. And so far, no one has said it's actually not you. <laughs> I, I said, do you know who this guy is? Because so, the, the, the trolls know who I am, but they haven't said. Yeah. But they've trolls have sent people along to say, oh, that guy's bald and stuff like that. You know, what, bald? Yeah, I'm, I'm not bald, actually. I've just had a very short haircut. But it doesn't matter. Even if I was bald, what's that got to do with my arguments? Yeah. You know, I may not be handsome. I'm so sorry if I'm not good looking enough for you. I'm just trying to talk about 
human rights, genuine human rights, not this fake human rights we got at the moment, you know, where they're trying to make women hate men, you know, Sarah Everard and all that kind of stuff. They're trying to stop women and men interacting, having relationships. They're trying to make black and white people hate each other. They're trying to, it's divide and rule. It's the oldest trick in the book. Anyway, on that note, I'll say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice for shaking.